right, coming up next is the UFC Heavyweight Showdown. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, it's over. most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, we really don't see a lot of guys in MMA with boxing skills on this level. He certainly could have gone on to great things as a professional boxer, but he believes he has the best hands in the sport, and he will be looking to prove as much here tonight. And he has the background to prove that, right? He's not saying something that is not true. He does have the ability to say that. He can say he has the best hands in the game because he has shown it. And when you watch him box, when you watch a guy go into a fight with this young man and think, that it does not matter what his credentials are. He is going to stand with them and prove that he's better. They usually will go to sleep because no action is wasted. The jab starts it all. He fights behind this beautiful educated jab, jabbing high, jabbing low, and then the overhand right is unbelievable. It's his kill shot, he calls it, and he lands it all the time. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Three years apart, some differences in height and reach. We go inside the Ladies octagon. And gentlemen, Here's the veteran voice. This is Buffalo. the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. The free. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds, fighting out of New York, Iron. All right, make the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. Absolutely crazy, back and forth. This is a full-on brawl, DC. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's gonna take that one shot that finishes the fight. Big call for first land. Now we get back to range. 
Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. Ah. You are battering that nose. Good jab. Leg kick. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Slips the punch nicely there. And he landed the right hand there. Try to establish that jab. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Nice elbow. Unable to land with that punch. Wow. Nice move, punch. Back and forth we go. Closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. All right, so he lands another hook there. He's fallen in love with that strike, but when you continue to land at this type of clip, why get away from it? Why not? Why not fall in love with a punch that can't miss? He cannot miss with this hook. He's doing a good job of setting it up, fading out a jab, and then throwing the hook around his opponent's high guard. Ooh, what a punch. Just misses there with the left. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, bleeding from his cheek now. That can't feel good. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And they separate. Nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, man, you could hear that one from here as he continues to punish his opponent with that hook. Our no-nonsense referee almost stepped in. Almost stepped in because when you start flailing around the octagon, know that the ref has to. He has to. It is his job to save you. You don't want to be on the receiving end of too many of this guy's hook punches. Your boy George Allen might have stepped in That's and stopped my that guy. fight. You know, all swagged out. So George <laughs> Allen all swagged out, stopping fights. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Throws the right hand there. Nice kick. Misses with the right hand. Nice head movement to slip the left hand. All right, you see his high-level footwork here, maybe trying to set up that hook shot again, potentially. You could tell, John, he's setting a trap. He's trying to walk his opponent back into his hook side, his big power side, so he'll keep faint, not little punches, with no intent to land, just to get his opponent where he needs him to be to land that kill shot. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. All right, so a lot of highlights over those previous five minutes. DC, take us through the replay, if you will. A lot of good action, but punching led the dance. Punching was the thing that stood out to me. That allowed him to take control of the round. All right, here we go with our next round. His opponent is going to need some Motrin later tonight. How about all those strikes to the head he observed in the previous round? He is not losing his head. He's trying to walk forward. He's a pressure fighter, sure, but he's trying to walk forward with no head movement, and he is paying the price for it by getting hit over and over in the face. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, 
but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Slips to avoid that one. Trying to establish that jab once again. All right, throws a straight punch and lands, so that is increasingly becoming... Oh! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Nice kick. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yo. Yeah? Oh, you can hear the crowd reaction every time he lands another hook. The previous round, it was hooks and bunches, more of the same here. More of the same, John. You watch a guy who's in a flow, who's in a rhythm, who's in a position where they don't feel like they could ever miss that shot. And that's what we're witnessing tonight. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Right hand on point. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Slips to avoid the right. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit, but this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat's mouth, you gotta play cat's mouth. Hit. Oh, huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's gotta press him. He's gotta go chase that finish down now. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Beautiful punch. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Oh, he might be out. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. So, fighter a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing a ton, just looking to recover. Cheek is only getting worse. His face is a mess. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Oh, big punch land. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Comes in close, controls his opponent's posture, and lands these nasty elbows. Blocks the shot. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Nice punch lands over the top. Single collar tie here. One of the most important strikes of the clinch is this big body shot. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking. Oh! Well, he's able to get back up here, but oh, man, is he on wobbly legs. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Right hand landed. Single collar oh, tie now. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene.
All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Nice punch, Lance. Just missed with the left there. Wow! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. The oh! oh he's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much. Perhaps just looking to recover. Oh, big left. is getting worse by the minute. Looking ghastly at this point. All right, he's got the hooks in. DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning. It's over now. He's done, he's done. Oh my goodness, what a fight. You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Merliata has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 56 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.